Hey YouTube, I want to talk about this thing I built. I made an instrument using a bunch of peaches, a laptop, some basic electronic components and an Arduino. So for those of you that have never heard of it, an Arduino is like a tiny little computer that you can write custom programs for. It's great as the heart of hobby electronics projects. I connected a bunch of peaches to this computer and wrote a program that detects when a peach is touched. We also connected it to a laptop so that when a peach was touched, it would send a signal to the laptop to play a certain sound. On the laptop, we had different sounds responding to different peaches, so that hitting them in the right fashion would produce a song. These are the parts I used. An Arduino Mega, a SparkFun MIDI shield, one mega ohm resistors, a breadboard, jumper cables, and canned peaches halves. It's important to get this right to get your loop sounding fruity. I used the Arduino IDE to write my program in. To write my code, I used the capacitive touch and MIDI library for Arduino. On the laptop, we used Ableton to play the sounds. I built this Peach MIDI controller for a collab video with Andrew Wong. Here you can see us setting up the instrument. We used it to cover the song Peaches by the Presidents of the United States of America. You can watch the video of our performance on his channel. Click the link in the description to watch that. The Peach instrument is made up of 24 peach slices and two pieces of peach pie. I'll explain which peaches did what. These three triggered the electronic drums for the softer parts. These six peaches triggered the heavier drum kit. And there is also one peach on the floor that is being used for the kick drum. The guitar chords are being played on these three peaches in the middle. This peach plays the low bass note that goes along with the main melody that is being played on these six. The melody in the bridge is played on this row of three. Because the song speeds up at the beginning of the bridge, we use the slice of pie on the right to change the tempo. The pie on the left mutes the audio channels from the beginning of the song and unmutes some other audio channels, so we can use many of the same peaches to trigger a different set of sounds. After the left pie is touched, the sound of the drum kit changes, these three peaches turn into bass notes, and these four become triggers for the lead melody. It also makes these two peaches play a modulated bass, and these two play a square synth, which together makes this cool sound effect. The peach on the right turns into this melodic fill. Finally, we use this peach here to reset the project at the end. This puts the tempo back to the initial BPM from the beginning of the track. This enables us to easily start from the top again during practice and the final performance. For those of you that are interested, this is the technical side of how the Arduino detects which peaches are touched. I use a technique called capacitive sensing. This is a way of making a touch sensor out of conductive material. The simplified setup looks like this. Capacitive sensing works by connecting two pins on the Arduino through a resistor and by adding your conductive material, a peach in my case, to the circuit after the resistor. In this circuit we use two pins on the Arduino. The bottom pin that goes to the resistor is called the send pin. And the pin above that, going back from the other side of the resistor, is called the receive pin. How this works is, the send pin sends 5 volts into the circuit and the Arduino keeps track of the amount of cycles it takes for the receive pin to receive the 5 volts. It always takes a little bit of time for current to travel, albeit very little. But the reason this technique works is because it'll take more time for the receive pin to get 5 volts when there is a capacitor in the circuit storing charge. In my setup the peach will store some charge, but when the peach is touched by my hand, I will also be part of the circuit and store charge. So touching the peach will increase the time for the receive pin to receive the 5 volts. For the Arduino to know whether or not the peach is touched by someone, it'll measure the time it takes for the receive pin to get the same voltage as the send pin. The higher the value, the more likely the peach is touched. When the Arduino senses that a peach is touched, it sends a MIDI signal to the laptop. The MIDI shield on top of the Arduino is connected to a laptop through a MIDI to USB cable. Each peach sends a different signal so that each peach can trigger its own sound with an Ableton. The list of all the parts I used is in the description. I also put the code I wrote on GitHub, so if you're interested in how I wrote the program, there's also a link for that. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out me and Andrew's performance of Peaches on his channel. Het idee is dat we eigenlijk gewoon een hele complexe piano-achtig ding, maar dan in plaats van toetsen heb je perzikken.